Welcome to the first solution for prep and data in 2023. So we are starting off the year with a series of beginner challenges. So let's just take a look at the data quickly. Okay, so we have some transactions that are coming through with different values and the first letters before the first dash of the transaction code specify what bank they're coming from these transactions. We have some customer codes. We know whether they're online or in person based on a one two mechanism that will update in a little bit and then we can see the dates on which these transactions happened. Okay, so we're going to start off this challenge by splitting off um, the bank from the transaction code. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the more options menu on this field. So the three dots there on the field and we're going to go to split values. We're going to go to custom split rather than automatic split so we have a bit more control over what happens. So our separator here is the dash, so anything before that first dash, so it's just going to split off the bank name. So when we hit split here, it is going to just create a separate field here that just contains our bank name, and we can double click on the title of that field just to rename it to be bank. I didn't type that very well, but that's fine. Um, I've already actually made these changes to the next step. I just wanted to show you how to do it in this step. So I'm going to just get rid of those changes just by clicking on the crosses there. If you can't see this changes pane, by the way, you just need to expand it on the left hand side here. OK, our next step is that we want to translate these values here. The number one represents online customers. The number two represents in person. So what we can do in Tableau Prep is we can double click here and just um, change the name of it. So just overwrite the one values with online. And I go to press enter here and I get a bit of an error. It tells me that the, um, data, the data type isn't um, allowed by this field. So we're trying to enter a string value into a numeric field. So actually before we make this change, so I'm just going to undo that change, I need to change the data type of the field. So I'm just clicking on the numeric symbol at the top and I change it from being a number to being a string and now I'm able to update that number one to be online. Again, I've made a spelling error, but that's okay. I've actually made that change in this step here. Um, but I'm just demonstrating to show you right now. Okay, so the final part that I want to do now is I want to change my transaction date to be the days of the week instead of um, the exact date that the transaction happened. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this more options menu again and I'm going to go to the convert date option. And I can see that I've got an option here for days of the week. So this will translate them into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. And when I click that, it's really handy that it updates the value here as well. So it becomes a string data type um, and I just get those listed out. You can see that I've got an alert coming up. It's because I did that step, that exact same step here. So now it's trying to take a string value and convert it into the days of the week. It can't do that twice. So I'm just going to, again, remove the change from here. Um, and that is all back to normal. So by the end of the first step, your data should look something like this. If your bank field is sitting over here, oops, I didn't mean to merge them. Let me just undo that. Um, if your bank field is sitting just about there, that's OK. I just reordered it because I wanted it to be to the left of the field instead of to the right. So you can always just pick up fields in Tableau Prep and reorder them um, if that's what you want to do. And then we've got our online and in-person. That should now look like in-person and online. And our weekdays, our transaction dates should now have the days of the week rather than the actual dates there. So hopefully at this stage, this is what your data set looks like. Now we can go ahead with those aggregations that are required by the challenge. So in our first aggregation, we want to group by each bank and sum up the total values. So that requires us to, maybe I should remove this and just show you just for this one, for example. So I'm just setting it back to if I just added in the aggregate step, the view that you would see. So I've got all the list of my fields here that I can aggregate. Um, I want to put my bank over in the grouped fields section so I can pick it up and drag it to the grouped fields section and I get a row for each of my banks. Lovely. And then I want my value to go in the aggregated field section. So I want to sum up all the values for each bank. I could either pick it up and drag it over there, but I'm a bit lazy, I'll admit. So I'll just double click on this value and it goes over to the aggregated field section. Okay, so then we do a similar thing for our second output. 
and we're grouping this time by bank, online and in person, and transaction date, and then summing up the values. And then finally, for our third aggregate, we are grouping by the bank, grouping by the customer code, and summing up those values. I've just added an output step after each of these aggregates, so you can save it any way you like just by configuring this. So we're saving it to a file. Uh, I can name it here. I can choose whether it's a hyper, um, a Excel, or a CSV. And I can choose the location by going to Browse so that opens up my File Explorer. And I can do that for each of those three different outputs. Hopefully that was quite easy to follow along and that you learned something new this week. So thank you very much for watching.